in a previous live stream, you all asked me to share a step-by-step -step tutorial and show you how I create Instagram preview videos for my YouTube videos. So we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna do it in real time and show you what I tend to do after a live stream on Monday morning so that you can use this technique to create Instagram story clips of your very own. Without further ado, let's hop in. After I go live on Monday mornings, I hop over to the YouTube app on my iPhone to create these clips. So when you're ready to make your clip, all you need to do is to drag from the top down and turn on your screen recorder. You'll know that it's recording because you will see the red dot appear in the top left hand corner. Then you want to choose the YouTube video that you want to turn into a clip. So in this case, I'm going to tap on the Monday live stream and I'm going to record a few seconds of it. Now, what I like to do is try to keep the clip around 60 seconds because beyond that, you'd have to split the clip and you don't want it to be too long. So when you're done, you'll drag from the top again and turn off your screen recording. When you're ready to start editing your clip, you're going to head over to the InShot app on your phone and tap on video. Then you'll tap on new, select the clip from your phone and click on the check mark. Now, what I like to do when I create my clips inside InShot is to crop them, and that way I can remove anything that would be distracting and also give myself room for my logo and for captions. So we're going to scrub in this video until we see the YouTube video start to play, and so that's what we actually want to crop. So we'll slide to the left, we'll select Crop, and then we'll start to drag from the bottom to the top. Now, if you want to leave in the title, I'll show you something cool you can do there. And then we will trim off the top because it's going to show the time, your battery and all of that if you don't crop that off. So once you have it in place, click on the check mark. And now you have a cleaned up recording. Now do that first so that when you trim off the beginning, everything is the right size. So we're going to slide until you see split and split the video when you see your clip start to play. Then delete the front part. And then you'll want to delete the end so no one sees you pulling up your screen recorder. So if all you wanted was just a clip, that would do. But if you want to add more to it, what I would suggest is to go to Canvas and drag up your recording a little bit to make room for captions. InShot will automatically generate captions on top of your video, but they may not be styled in a way that makes sense for the clip that you chose. So what InShot does is it takes the background of your video and it will blur it for the background for your clip. So if you want to make it a little bit more legible, all you need to do is slide until one of your captions appears on the clip itself, then tap the little bubble and then tap on edit. From there, you'll see a bunch of different styling options. You can click on the color wheel and you can change the color of the text. You can add what's called a label. And so that will add a little background. I will typically do something like this that will add a fun little label and you can design it however you want. You can just make it black. You can add gradients. It gives you a lot of different styling options, which is really nice. And when you're done, click on the check mark and then click on the check again. The last thing that you'll see me do quite often is add my logo. And that's because I'm trying to reinforce the idea that it's not LaShonda Brown on YouTube, it's Bootstrap Biz Advice. So the more often that I can put my branding on things that I push out, the more clarity people will have about my company itself. So to add a logo that's going to appear the entire time, you want to use a little thing called PIP, which is picture in a picture. So you'll see this located beside the filter. And so you'll want to start at the very beginning of your video, tap on PIP, and then tap on photo to find your logo. So we're just gonna use an example here. I will pull up one of my Bootstrap Star Students logos, and then you can drag it and put it into place. And then you can see here, if you don't change it, it's going to have a short duration. If you want it to show the entire time, then you'll just tap on the arrow and drag it. When that is done, click on the check mark and you should have a branded video. 
with your captions. And you can add music if you really want to get extra. Not necessary, but bonus points if you do. So if you want to add music, you can tap on the music icon, then type on music again. You can utilize their music. You can also import. I have imported clips from Epidemic Sound, which are really nice. And so that helps me to have royalty-free music in my clips if I'd like. That way you can have background music and hear yourself talking. If you add music directly in Instagram, it's going to replace the audio from your clip. So that's a way that you can add more production value with very little effort. So when you're done, you'll need to export this. So we'll go to the top right-hand corner. We're going to tap on save. The resolution default is going to be 1080p, so you can make that higher or lower depending on um, the estimated file size that you want. I just leave it at the defaults and then tap on save. It saves fairly quickly and it's going to put the clip directly into the Photos app on your phone. Now from there, you can see Instagram pops up or you can go select Instagram on your phone. Then you'll tap on your story. And then in the bottom left-hand side, you will see the finished clip. So all you need to do is click on done and then share it where you would like for the clip to be shared. And so this is essentially what I do on Monday mornings as a way to draw traffic to the replay of my live stream. Now, if you want people to be able to directly click from the Instagram story to go to YouTube, what you wanna do is add a link sticker. So one of the reasons why I leave the title is because if you tap on the three dots in the top right-hand corner and click on draw, you can bring up the size and you can actually white out the title of your video. So this is not super clean, but you get the point. Then we'll click on done. Now we'll go back to YouTube. We'll grab the share link from the video, go back to Instagram and add a link sticker by clicking on the sticker icon at the top. Then we're going to tap on link and paste in our YouTube link. I like to customize the sticker text because I think it looks cleaner. So we'll tap here and say, watch replay on YouTube. And then you'll tap on done and it will add your sticker. So all of the stickers are going to have a white background. So it'll blend in nicely to the area that you white it out. And so you can tap until you like the style and then drag it into place. And so that's how I do it. So for those of you who are wanting to increase replay views on your content, I strongly encourage you to also share to your Instagram stories as a way to remind people that you have a channel, that you want people to see what you're creating. And eventually you will start to see traffic coming from Instagram directly to your YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I also have another tutorial to show you how to make vlog style content. So if this was helpful, be sure to check that out. And until next time, to chat for now.